Decisions, Decisions. Literally thousands of new metal albums come out every year, but there's usually only about three or four dozen that I like well enough to invest in. So, who made the cut this visit to Bandcamp? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. By the time I pull the trigger on a new release, I've listened to it as many as half a dozen times, some tracks up to twice that. The stuff I don't like, that's quick and easy to sort out. Usually only takes a few tracks, sometimes just a few seconds. The really amazing stuff, well that's pretty easy to suss out too. But the stuff that's on the borderline between good and great, that takes some time and deliberation. Because I don't want the good, I want the great. The great and the amazing, because life is too damn short for just the good. That said, what new metal recently made the cut? Well, submitted with minimal comment? The first thing I bought was From the Depths, the debut LP from Turkish death metalers Abolish. This is a new to everyone release, and this isn't just their debut LP, it's their first release of any sort, so thanks to K-Man Riss for making sure they didn't fly under my radar, it's always nice to catch a talented new young band right out of the gate. And talented they are. From the depths is some great black metal influence, down in mid-tempo, hope-slaying, light-snuffing death metal. It crushes your soul with a desolate weight of eternity one moment, and crawls spider-legged across your skin the next. And it's out on digital, CD, and vinyl from FDA Records. Next up was Turn Cold's new EP, Chew Glass. This is Turn Cold's third EP in as many years. They've wasted no time at all since forming in 2020 in Atlanta. Like the previous two EPs, this is a three-track independent digital release, but unlike the previous two, this one also had a limited cassette release, and as of press time, a few of those were still available, so go get them. Chew Glass is top-tier crossover thrash for fans of Power Trip, Enforced, Lowest Creature, and other such ill shit, and I'm telling you now, these guys are going places. Don't miss this one. After that, I bought Into Nothingness, the second LP from German death metalers Wilt. This is the follow-up to 2018's Faces of the Grave, and more great things to come, I'm sure, because Into Nothingness is some great old-school Swedish death metal. I make no secret of the fact that I really love that stuff, and there's a lot of it out there, but this is really, really good. Well worth your time if you're into all the old classics and such like. Wilt has remained an unsigned independent band, and Into Nothingness was released on Bandcamp on CD, vinyl, and digital. The fourth thing that I bought was Blasphemous Prophecies, which is the debut LP from Tribe of Pazuzu. The phrase international supergroup gets thrown around a lot, but for Tribe of Pazuzu it's kind of just facts. Blasphemous Prophecies is every bit what you'd expect after their two EPs, Heretical Uprising and King of All Demons. When I say blasphemous, black, and non-Euclidean death metal, I hope you know what I mean, but if you don't, I mean wicked sharp, tremolo-haunted, blacker-than-sin death metal that follows blasphemous angles and infantous curves across exotic hyperbolic musical geometries that simply aren't meant for mankind. Trey from Morbid Angel once said about Altars of Madness, I really wanted a feeling of going backwards, or playing sideways and dragging, just all these weird feelings that I wanted to put into the music. Well. If you're into sideways, sacrilegious, seditious Sumerian shit, this bud's for you. It's out on Vic Records on CD, and is a digital release. And my fifth and final band can't buy this time around was another debut release, Following the Path of Death from Dead Nation. Formed in 2016, Dead Nation are from Brazil, and they play riff-laden Stockholm-influenced death metal, and they do it quite well. After releasing singles in 2017, 2020, and 2022, they released their first full length this year, and it is one hell of a debut. I'm always a sucker for good old school sweet eth, and this serial killer theme crushing slab of metal absolutely fits the bill. It's another independent digital only release, so once again, you gotta get it from Bandcamp, or you ain't gonna get it at all. And there's a bonus this time, because this one wasn't on Bandcamp, so I had to buy it somewhere else. So last but certainly not least, I picked up Death Mountain. This is yet another debut death metal album, this time from Blood Gutter out of Denmark. Formed in 2019, they released a single earlier this year, followed by Death Mountain, and it is some romping, stomping, rift out death metal. And that's a fact. 
It's out on Trollzorn Records on CD, vinyl, and digital, and it's definitely worth anyone's time who likes meat and potatoes death metal with extra filth. So, you can check out the first five of these releases for free on my Bandcamp fan page, which is linked in the show notes below. If you like any of them, do the right thing. Buy them and support the bands. And while you're at it, support K-Man Riffs. He's the only reason I even know about half of this stuff. Buy the man a coffee, for God's sake, like I do. Every month. Link in the show notes below.